What's up everybody? Evan here with Evan's Detail and Polishing. I get people send me pictures like this all the time. And then they ask me what sanding grit they should start with. Well, I started at 180 and worked my way all the way up to 400. But as you can see, those pits are deep enough I can still hook a fingernail under them. I can completely catch my finger on them. Now, I can make those shiny pits, or I can make it completely pit free. Completely pit free, I personally would recommend selling the customer a brand new wheel. So when somebody brings me a wheel like that and tells me that they want it completely pit free, I'm sorry I'm not your guy, because I guarantee you by the time I sand that thing smooth, and you start running 80,000 pounds down the highway, that wheel's gonna crack. And you know what? My family rides the same roads you do. And I don't wanna risk my family's life, so that's for sure. So for me personally, I ran this wheel down to 180 and brought it all the way back up to 400. And now on the wheel machine, I can buff it out at 320 already, so I didn't need to run to 600 or any of that stuff. But I started at 180 and worked my way up. Now these pits are gonna be really shiny. Stay tuned, I'll show you here in a second. Well, here it is. It's far from perfect, but look a whole lot better on this truck that's up for sale. There's still some pits in it. It's far from perfect. But, get back 10 feet. Look how nice and shiny that wheel is. Looks perfect. Get a black tire mounted on there. It's going to look good rolling down the road. But, I also have that conversation with my customers before I go ahead and do it. I make sure and let everybody know there's no magic wands here. I'm not pulling rabbits out of hats over here. I'm make, giving wheels the best that they will give me. And if they want more than what's achievable and what I think is realistic, I tell them to buy brand new wheels because I can only do so much. Hope this helps somebody. Thanks for watching.